A senior Biden administration official says a plan is pretty much there to release hostages held by Hamas and get more aid into Gaza. It comes as Israeli forces rescued two hostages in a raid on a border city. President Biden is hosting Jordan's King Abdullah as he works to get Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu to change his military tactics in Gaza. NBC's Drew Petromo has the latest from Washington. President Biden welcoming King Abdullah of Jordan to Washington on Monday. The two allies working to broker a pause in fighting between Israel and Hamas that also returns Israeli hostages currently being held in Gaza. To help the effort, President Biden dispatching CIA Director Bill Burns to Egypt on Tuesday. And this meeting will help further strengthen uh, our enduring bilateral relationship. We'll also discuss increasing humanitarian assistance into Gaza and a vision for a durable peace uh, to include uh, the viability of a two-state solution with Israel's security guaranteed. The meeting comes as Israel expands its offensive from the north into southern Gaza. The Israeli Defense Force says it rescued two hostages, aged 60 and 70, who were being held in the city of Rafah. The IDF says this video shows the two men being reunited with their families. But airstrikes during the operation left 67 Palestinians dead, including children, according to the Gaza Health Ministry. And with Israel threatening a ground invasion of Rafah, there are worries the death toll will rise. More than 1.4 million Palestinians have been told to go to Rafah because it was deemed safe. Many Gazans have been displaced multiple times throughout the conflict. Where do we go with four people, this woman says. We don't know if we should leave or stay. The Gaza Health Ministry says over 28,000 people have been killed since the beginning of the war. With no end in sight, global leaders, including President Biden, are growing increasingly frustrated with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. Despite the criticism, the Biden administration pushing continued financial support for Israel, backing a bill being debated in Congress that includes $14 billion in additional aid for the country. Drew Petromo, NBC News, Washington.